that's it from Cool Movie Gram, your source for everything about cool movies. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out my other videos. Um, it means a lot if you do. Um, yeah, well, what can I say? I mean, this is a, a different video uh, covering my... Um, this is not covering my top 50 action movies. Uh, this one's just a, um, a midweek video that's covering uh, a new purchase that I've done. Well, some of the new ones from uh, 88 Films. And of course, I ordered it from... Um, from this is from H&B. And of course, this is one of the last ones I did maybe about a couple of months ago I bought, which was the... First, we're going to go through The Flag of Iron, which is a Shaw Brothers uh, movie, which was released, um, I think it's a 19... 81, yeah, it's a 1981, 80, no, sorry, 1980 film, uh, directed by Chang Che, and uh, it stars a uh, majority of the, the Venom mob, bar from uh, Wei Pai, and uh, of course, the notable absence of Lo Ming. And, um, yeah, uh, yeah, this comes with a slipcase, of course, once again, amazing artwork from, uh, from the amazing Kung Fu Bob O'Brien. And a reversible cover slip, and this was a great movie. It comes with a, uh, it also comes with a poster. Um, you know, I think it's a, it's double sided. So on the one side you get uh, Kung Fu Bob's awesome artwork, as displayed over here, and the other side you get the um, the original theatrical po art, uh, Bob poster art when it was actually released in cinemas. And yeah, this is actually a very dark kind of movie. I mean, I thought this was very much a lot like, um, yeah, again, the disc. This was a lot like, more or less like a gangster movie, like a triad movie that was just set in, uh, in like ancient times, where, instead, where they're all kind of like wearing like, clans are more or less like triads. And you've got this booklet that comes with, um, with essays and, uh, you know, you know, uh, stills from the film, and uh, yeah, so that's about it. And um, yeah, I know it comes with the reversible sleeve, which has uh, the uh, the theatrical artwork instead of the um, the awesome Kung Fu Bob artwork as well. So yeah, um, I'll, I did watch it. I might do a review of this later on. Uh, once I do, when I do get a chance, I like to, I like to keep these in good nick. They're quite, you know, they're quite cool. So, uh, you know, again, you know, I still need to buy a few more. But then, adulting, responsibilities, and everything else that comes in between. Now, let's just see what we have over here. This is just the next couple of purchases that I did make. Which features, um, they're from eight. They are both. They are like. This, you know, movies from 88 films. Ah. Not one for unboxing videos in a graceful manner. I mean, anyone seen my previous videos, or you could tell I'm just a bit of a fucking animal when it comes to uh, opening videos, uh, opening boxes like this. Right, we have uh, whew, some Jackie Chan. Okay, what we have here is half a loaf of Kung Fu. Yeah, this was one of the first like actual Kung Fu comedies that Jackie Chan had actually done. But it was on hold because the studio was losing a lot of money and um, it was only after the films like uh, Snake and Eagle Shadow and Drunken Master had come out which were box office smash hits and turned Jackie into like a uh, an overnight star they actually low way had actually released this film because he absolutely hated it now from what I remember I do remember this I've watched this film on VHS many years ago and uh, I thought it was absolutely hilarious uh, yeah again it's just the uh, wimp, very kind of cool detailed artwork from uh, Kung Fu Bob O'Brien I mean just, just look look at the detail that he does I mean fact how accurate they actually look and um, just for example the colors are bright and vibrant and it just has a very kind of silly kind of whimsical feel and um, yeah well this comes with just like the flag of iron um, it comes with a, uh, a booklet with like essays and uh, stills from like 
the movie itself and promo material as well and this also comes with a poster and is it double sided yes it is so on one side you have uh, the Kung Fu Barb O'Brien which is his um, illustration for the cover artwork and the other side is also uh, the Hong Kong theatrical um, poster when it was released in 78 um, and yeah it's the same with the the, re the reversible cover and I, I do remember watching this as a kid a long time ago and I thought it was absolutely hilarious I did own it on um, on um, on VHS, very washed out. It's just dubbed in English, and um, yeah. It, but it was it was one of those. It was a funny dub. It was very kind of cartoon. It's a very cartoonish in terms of the sense of humor. And um, yeah. And the next one is. Uh... Oh God, the wife just came in. Okay, so Tiger Cage, <laughs> one to three. So it's the trilogy. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing, I've only seen the uh, the first two, like the majority of uh, people that I know. I've never seen the, th the third one before. I've seen clips of it online, but I've never really seen it, but I heard it ain't really that much of that, of that great of a movie. Um, yeah, and yeah, it comes in, uh, it's really kind of, again, the rigid kind of uh, artwork. The rigid box set i mean this is all really cool um okay so it's a limited edition of course and yeah let's just go through what the features are um it's brand new artwork by sean longmore uh, that's the guy who's actually done this is it, it, it isn't kung fu bob but i think he's the one who's done the uh the writing wrongs box set so uh yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that as well. I don't know how the hell I'm going to pay for it, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, you got a 100 page booklet featuring interviews with Vincent Lynn, Steve Stephen Berwick, and Michael Woods by My My Matthew Edwards, plus archive stills, production imagery, posters, and more. Um, reversible sleeves featuring original artwork, double sided fold out poster. Um, Tiger Cage 1, the disc, uh, which is um, this one here. So, Tiger Cage. Uh, it comes with um, remastered 2K transfer in 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio from the original negative. Uh, 2.0 English mono, 2.0 Cantonese mono with re remastered English subtitles, 2.0 Mandarin mono containing alternate music score with English subtitles, audio commentary with Frank, Frank Jeng and Vincent Lin, Vincent Lin's personal behind the scenes footage, uh, Tiger King, an archive interview with Donnie Yen, you got English titles, ex extra shots from the Chinese version, Triads, which is a special feature with Vincent Lin and Frank Jeng. You got the original Hong Kong trailer and the English trailer. Tiger Cage 2, which is this one here. I think this is the most popular one out of the, like, most of the majority of the fans because Donnie Yen's character is a lot more um, pivotal in this film. He's a, a lot more kind of, um, well, featured and it has more of an action comedy feel i mean i will be doing a review of these films and the box set itself um in comparison to the dark kind of murky feel of the uh the original it was a very dark kind of cops and triads kind of movie with uh, modern day martial arts action and uh, it's pretty much like uh, before game of thrones i mean this was like a movie that was not afraid to kill any of the main cast like the, you know the cast that was made billed as the main stars as um, you know, <laughs> you know, be, you know, within within like minutes of the film, people are just dying left, right, and center, and it's just one of those dark nihilistic type of movies. But this was different. Uh, this was actually a 1990 film, whereas the original I think was 1988. So yeah, um, yeah, Tiger Cage Two comes with uh, a remastered 2K transfer again. 
with uh, in the 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio from the original negative of the Hong Kong cut and Malaysian cut. You've got the 2.0 English mono, 2.0 Cantonese mono with English remastered English subtitles, audio commentary. Uh, with action specialist Mike Leader and uh, Arne Benema. <laughs> awesome. Audio commentary with a Asian cinema expert Frank Zheng for the Hong Kong cut. Uh, these are both. And um, Tiger Cage 3. I've never seen this. I've only seen clips of this online, but I've never seen the whole movie. I wasn't able to actually kind of get hold of this for some reason. It was very kind of difficult to get hold of the fact that it's actually in the. Um, in the actual set itself uh that kind of you know it's it's kind of, it's kind of quite interesting it's nice to see um yeah again it comes with the same things as in the same kind of remastered in the aspect ratio uh it's remastered from a 2k transfer um it comes with a uh, audio commentary by kenneth brawson and phil gillian gillen from the podcast on fire network really cool guys i would say recommend i recommend you check out their podcast as well it's really good and uh, you got the english titles hong kong trailer and the english trailer as well and oh, i'm so looking forward everyone's been kind of like going on about how good it is and the fact that it comes in like these black cases it's kind of unique never seen that before from a um like a an 88 films release and uh yeah, I mean, I remember seeing like some of the fight scenes in this film. It's just so cool. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, the booklet. It's like a hardbound kind of book. And uh, yeah, it comes, with, you know, again, the uh, the awesome kind of uh, artwork from Sean Longmore. I mean, he, he does great artwork in general. And uh, yeah, it just comes, wow, you know, just looking at some of this, you just have like a interviews and uh yeah it's just got a lot of cool stuff in here it's got all this like kind of promo material from the original movie from the movies when they were released and yep you got this kind of like a poster of the originals of the original film tiger cage and god i remember watching this on video many years ago the the first one it was like i think it was imperial entertainment that did it and um because they released uh, Tiger Cage and also um, it was In the Line of Duty 4 released as In the Line of Duty and uh, I've never I've never seen it beyond those versions and anyways but now okay back to this one Half Love Kung Fu now yeah it could, with the the double fold out poster um, from, by Kung Fu Barbara O'Brien and uh, Punishing Parody which is Jackie Chan's Half a Love Kung Fu book notes by Matthew Edwards Remastered HD transfer, high definition Blu-ray presentation. So this one's not from a 2K, but it's just a HD ref, um, transfer. You got the Cantonese DTS HDMA mono, English DTS HDA mono, and Mandarin DTS HDMA mono. You got alternate Cantonese DTS HDMA mono featuring different music, retranslated English subtitles, uh, audio commentary by Kung Fu experts, Mike Leader and Arne Venema, these guys, they, they, when it comes to like Kung Fu movies, these guys always like, it's just fun to listen to them and uh, knowledgeable and funny at the same time. You got the English trailer, Hong Kong trailer, Japanese trailer, Japanese TV spot, reversible sleeve with original Hong Kong poster artwork. They, this, I'm surprised, well, there isn't really much in terms of like bonus materials, even the same with this one as well. Um, Maybe the uh, just the the audio commentaries and um, yeah and trailers. That's about it. But there's nothing else that seems to be kind of um, added on to these films. But yeah, I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing seeing this. Uh, I'm probably revisiting uh, Half a Loaf of Kung Fu. I've already done the disc for Flag of Iron. I even checked out the commentary uh, commentaries on that and. Um, yeah, the commentary, well, the commentary by Mark and Mike Leader on Venema. And I'm just going to have to check this out as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm surprised that this doesn't have a Frank Jeng one on this. So, yeah, I'm going to be definitely checking out Half a Loaf of Kung Fu as well as the, uh, the Tiger Cage. I can't wait. I mean, so I would say these are pretty much available from, um, 
you know, from all major retailers as well as uh, 88 Films website itself. And I would urge you to check them out. Um, you know, give these boutique labels the support that they need. I mean, they've done a lot of work in terms of like bringing us these films in a presentation that we never thought was possible. So I would say you'd need to. I mean, uh, I mean, just look look how awesome this looks. I mean, you got all the cast on there. I mean, that that's supposed to be like the uh, the main hero in Tiger Cage Three. It reminds me a lot of like. Um, if you've ever seen a movie called Avenging Fist, which is like kind of a futuristic sci-fi martial arts action movie starring um, Lee Hong Wang, Sammo Hong and Yoon Bu, and Yoon Bu's character, he kind of like has sports a similar kind of like silver face mask and uh, yeah. And it's just, yeah, it just kind of looks badass and like you get young Donnie Yen before his uh, Hollywood success and um, yeah, I, I look forward to this and I'm definitely going to be, well, going through this movie, these movies and uh, giving you my uh, my two cents on them. So definitely, I mean, I'm kind of, yeah, I mean, although recently I haven't really bought as many kind of like these 88 films or even much of Eureka recently because it's just, it's too expensive. I can't, I can't justify spending that much money on like, these kind of like deluxe box sets and uh, limited editions and whatnot, but um, sometimes you have to bite the bullet. <laughs> you know, I just couldn't help myself, it just looked awesome, so yeah. Anyways, check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one.